In this lesson, you will learn to divide a decimal by a decimal. Okay, so if we look, here's our decimal and we're actually dividing it by a decimal. So before we can do our division, we have to move our decimal point. So since there is a decimal in our divisor or this number in front, we are going to move it over as far as it can go. This is jumping one decimal place. So now I have four. I have to move the decimal in my dividend, or this number, the same number of decimal places. So I jumped one time here. I'm going to jump my decimal one time here. It's now here, and the decimal comes straight up. So move my decimal over one place, move my decimal over one place in both the divisor and the dividend, then bring the decimal straight up. And now I get to divide, and I don't have to worry about the decimal anymore. So there are no fours in three, but there are eight in 34. Eight times four is 32. Subtract, I get two. Bring down the eight. How many fours are in 28? Seven. Seven times four is 28. Subtract and we get zero. So three and 48 hundredths divided by four tenths is eight and seven tenths. You can actually check your division by multiplying. If we take our answer, 8 and 7 tenths, and multiply it by 4 tenths, we should get 3 and 48 hundredths. Let's see, 28, 32, 33, 34. And I see one, two decimal places in my problem, so I need one, two decimal places in my answer. So we get the same answer. 3 and 48 hundredths was my divisor, okay? Let's try this one. In this one, I see two decimal places in my divisor, so I need to move it over two places to the right, as far as I can go, which means I have to move this one over two places as well. Well, there's only one number there, but right here is a placeholder zero. So now my decimal is here. I moved it two places two places in my divisor, so two places in my dividend, and bring it straight up. And now I divide. How many 25s and 27? 27? One. 25. I can subtract and bring down a zero. How many 25s in 20? Well, there are none. That's zero. Subtract is 20. Now I can put another zero here and bring it down, making 200. So I can addend zeros after a decimal. How many 25s in 200? Well, that is eight. Eight times 25 is 200, or eight quarters, if you're thinking money, and zero. So two and seven tenths divided by 25 hundredths is 10 and eight tenths. And, and that's the end of our lesson on dividing a decimal by a decimal.